Hello students, this is 1.41. A point moves in the plane so that its tangential acceleration is A and its normal acceleration is B to the power 4, B t to the power 4, where A and B are positive constants, t is time. At moment t is equal to 0, the point was at rest. It means at t equal to 0, v equal to 0. At t equal to 0, v is a particle is at rest. Find how the curvature radius of points trajectory and total acceleration depends on distances. So problem simple है क्योंकि बहुत easily calculate किया है इसलिए radius of curvature और total acceleration को but in terms of time and the question is to convert this in terms of distance so हमें केवल time के term को distance के term से replace करना है start करते हैं according to given condition tangential acceleration that is dv by dt rate of change of speed is a so dv equal to a dt and this implies that on integrating this expression v will become a t and if you take limit 0 to v and time from 0 to t, you will get v equal to a t. This is the relation between velocity and time. And for finding a relation between displace, distance and time, displacement and time, differentiate this with respect to v can be taken as ds by dt. And this implies ds is a t dt. ds is a t dt. And on integrating it again, s will become a t square by 2. And limits are from 0 to s and for time it is from 0 to t. So 0 to s and 0 to t on taking limits in this expression s will be half a t square. This is s. The value of particles distance is s equal to a t square. So this is half a t square s v is equal to a t. So by this equation we get that t square can be taken as 2s by a on the basis of limit. If we requires then t square will be equal to 2s. So question में time के time को distance से convert करना है and the question is find how the curvature radius of points trajectory depends on distance s. Now second condition the normal acceleration is b t to the power four. We know that we know that we know that normal acceleration is v square by r and the value of normal acceleration is given as vt to the power 4 and velocity has been obtained already it is at so it is at square by r implies that radius of curvature will become a square t square by vt4 and this implies radius of curvature is a square by vt square and t square is this it is 2s by so putting the value of t we will get a square by b 2s by a it is a cube by 2b s. This is the value of radius of curvature in terms of this cells. The second problem the total acceleration. Total acceleration we know that total acceleration is always the Pythagorean summation of tangential and normal. So it is this is tangential acceleration the square of this and this is normal acceleration. This is v square by a whole square. So total acceleration of the particle is root of a square plus v4 by r square. Velocity is at. So put the value of velocity, it will become total acceleration will be a square plus a4 t4 by r square and t square can be taken as 2s by a. So put t square value of t square, at will be under root of a square plus a4 by r square into value of t square is 2s by a. So 2s by a whole square. And finally, it will become a t equal to root of a square plus 4 s square a square by r square. A can be taken as a common term. This will be 1 plus 4 s square by r square. So this is total acceleration of the particle. So this is the problem. We this question the total acceleration in line line. Final tha. Because tangential and normal dono acceleration are the so ये बात पहली लाइन से क्लियर आउट हो गई थी कि टोटल एक्सेलरेशन कितना आ गया बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिस्टेंस हमें कैलकुलेट करना था तो उसके लिए हमें एक ऐसा रिलेशन नीडेड था इस प्रॉब्लम में जो t और s को कनेक्ट करे तो पहले हमने टारगेट किया टेंजेंशियल एक्सेलरेशन को और सॉल्व किया तब तक जब तक हमें रिलेशन ना मिल जाए t और s के बीच में t और s के बीच में रिलेशन मिलने के बाद रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर कैलकुलेट हुआ a³ b कैसे कैलकुलेट हुआ क्योंकि नॉर्मल एक्सेलरेशन b t to the power 4 है so the radius of curvature t ke terms mein lana bahut easy hai and final step is to convert t on in s s so our final answer on putting the value of t square as 2s by r is this 
and total acceleration is Pythagorean summation of these two and here again the requirement is to put the value of t so this is the final answer so this is the way to solve this problem thank you